Please welcome to the stage Amir Shriki, co-founder of Oliver, to present the Business Person of the Year Award. Good evening. So first, I have to be honest, I wasn't ready. Um, and now that I've seen all those amazing speeches, I'll have to improvise, I'll do my best. Small thanks to the organizers who took the chance and gambled on an Israeli guy pronouncing American names <laughs> over a stage. I hope I'm gonna make it right. It's not gonna be embarrassing as the beauty contest or Miss Universe. Um, the advantage of not being prepared is that you can improvise. And if there is one thing Israelis are known is improvisation. You can improvise and actually it works well because um, I got a lot of inspiration tonight from the nominees. And I gotta say something. Um, to the winners or to the candidates, you're a big source of inspiration. Uh, you're actually heroes and I want to explain my point. Many times in America, and I've been here for over eight years, um, Israelis or former officers in the IDF or soldiers are, are mistakenly considered hero, heroes are around here, and I will explain. Um, I think it relates also to what Mr. Geller said at the beginning of the night. He gave an analogy about Jews back then where it was tough, and therefore they stayed united. And if I understood him correct, Jews today um, are kind of in the comfort zone, and staying united is not... Uh, necessity. Seems like not a necessity. And that was his analogy and my analogy tonight is kind of in a reversed way about an Isra Israeli Jews versus American Jews. Where Israeli Jews are in a situation where they are called on duty on a daily basis and they have to do it. Therefore, myself and my friends, we do not consider them or us doing anything heroic. While these Jews that we've seen here, and I was shocked, I have to say, I have to be honest, I wasn't aware of this kind of activity, um, are fighting for Israel, fighting for Judaism, and they don't have to. Some of them successful doctors, successful entrepreneurs and businessmen, and they just don't have to. And I see this as a greater thing, and I want to thank you guys all. Small thank to, I know many people thank Chabad Paris. it's the first time we officially uh, get acquainted, so really big thank. And more than that, uh, a big huge thank to Chabad Worldwide. What an amazing organization. I'm presenting today the business category and I could not stop myself thinking that if Chabad was a business organization, it would have been by far the most profitable organization worldwide. <laughs> Thank God you're not measured by uh, net profits, p and and dollars, uh, more by ethics and, and what you give and we love it. Um, nominees for business person, Philip Lang. The second, Aaron and Zahava, Reader. Philip Lang is the co-founder and COO of Triple Mint, a technology-enabled real estate brokerage that is a refreshingly simple way to find your home. Prior to founding Triple Mint, Philip worked on Wall Street as an investment banking analyst in the Industrials Group at Macquarie Capital. Philip graduated with a B.A. in economics from Yale University, where he rode on the lightweight crew team and served on the board of the Yale College Student Investment Group. Philip serves on the board of the Safety Net Task Force at UJA Federation, distributing grants to at-risk families. Philip is active in Central Park Track Club, where he is an avid marathoner who finished top 100 U.S. men in the 2014 New York City Marathon, and volunteers with Achilles International, helping guide blind and mentally challenged runners through marathons. In 2005, our own Ritter started the Kosher Wine Society due to the lack of kosher wine tasting events. Since then, the Kosher Wine Society has run hundreds of private and public wine tasting events for charities, organizations, and corporations, as well as events that are open to the public. Their yearly event, New Wines for the New Year, is before Rosh Hashanah, where they showcase all new wines and vintages that have just been released to the U.S. market. 
this event sells out quickly and brings out hundreds of people. Kosher Wine Society always donates a portion of the proceeds to a Jewish-Israeli charity. Zahava and Aaron Ritter are both busy and still love planning events for Kosher Wine Society. Aaron is a residential mortgage banker for Citibank, and Zahava works for Access Capital while raising their beautiful daughter Zoe. Zahava and Aaron are passionate about bringing the Jewish community together over a great bottle of kosher wine. So unfortunately, I was hoping that the easiest name to pronounce will be the winner, but the winner is Aaron and Zahava Ritter. Well, this is great because we you really can't see anybody, so it feels like I'm just talking in my bathroom, so it's kind of fun. Um, Zahav and I wanted to thank, obviously, the rabbi and Rebetzin. You've heard some amazing things about them um, and for everything that they do for, uh, for us on the Upper East Side, and now they're our neighbors literally right next door, which is fantastic, so we're very excited for that. And um, I... Um, I just want to send a quick special thanks to obviously Batesh and Associates. They've uh, they were a corporate sponsor tonight, and uh, they do a great job with everything that they do. Uh, we are so happy that we were nominated uh, to begin with for the for the Business Person of the Year award for the Kosher Wine Society, and I'm happy that we only had two people that we were one person that we were fighting against. So it was kind of uh, we had a good chance of winning. Some of the groups here had five people. I was like, oh my god. So I, I, I thought we might have some good odds on that side. Um, Philip, it was great running against you, and I look forward to doing some wine tasting events with you and, uh, and your company. Uh, so the Kosher Wine Society runs wine tasting events all throughout the year. And when I started this 10 years ago, I had no idea uh, what I was doing. I, um, I had no idea what the business was or what it would, be, what it would become. Um, we've done hundreds of wine tasting events uh, for companies, charities, organizations, uh, and KWS came from seeing something that was missing and filling that void. So what I would like you to think about tonight is what is the difference you can make in this world um, that we live in, and how, and how can we make this world a better place? So thanks again, and uh, much success, and l'chaim, if I would have a glass of wine, I would drink. Thank you. 